I just wanted to show you that I got another seed haul from Baker Creek Rare Seeds, Heirloom Seeds. And um, I am really fascinated with chili peppers and so I am going to grow a bunch. I got a lot of varieties. Um, I got the sweet peppers for my kids and my hubby and then I got the spicy ones for hubby and myself. And um, I tend to like to make, a, have a variety of peppers um, to stir fry or to put into different application sauces and stuff. So here I have the pepper, Ahi Fantasy. It's a new one I didn't see previously when I looked at the website. And it's 80, 90 days to harvest. They're two inch long, translucent yellow, bonnet shaped peppers with medium mild heat and lots of tropical sweetness. A fascinating element for the creative culinary mind. Plants reach four feet tall and are high yielding. So I love that because I want lots of peppers. Next I have the Zulu and it's a sweet pepper, a dark purple, a dark purple bell pepper. Love the color. Next I have the giant Aconcagua. And I believe this is a sweet one. Scrumptiously sweet. Yep. And it looks really good because it looks like you can grill it and other things. Maybe even stuff it. And here is the blot pepper. Rainbow colored pepper from Russia. Stellar sunset of colors and best flavor we have tested in a sweet pepper. The flesh of this thick walled pepper is supremely crunchy and juicy. Easily our favorite snacking and raw eating pepper. That's what my husband wants to do is have it for raw eating or to put on a little grill. I have here the Brazilian starfish pepper. It looks really neat. I love the lantern shape sort of. And this is a unique deep red star shaped variety. It's juicy with variable heat and can be even quite sweet. So it looks like I have a lot of varieties that are sweet and sort of spicy. Sweet Moruga. Looks like it could be spicy, huh? <laughs> Love the color. So bright. Smoky sweet flavor of the famous super hot pepper without the insane burn. So it's going to be sweet. The Guillette I know is one of the hot peppers, but I love it because of how colorful the peppers are, as well as how the leaves are variegated. So I really wanted that one. And it's edible, not just ornamental. This one is the Ahi Kachachucha. Oops, Kachucha. There we go. Um, so that one looks kind of like the other bell-shaped starfish one, but it's colorful. Purple, greens, oranges, reds. Love it so much. And it's ahi dulce, famous pepper in Caribbean and Latin American cuisine. And it is much less hot than a jalapeno with sweet flesh. So that's good for the kids in the family pepper fish this one's really pretty too it's green and yellow variegated and the leaves are variegated really pretty um, edible and ornamental and it is green orange brown white and red spicy and hot so <laughs> yeah it looks hot and it is hot <laughs> A not a peño, so it looks like a jalapeno, but it's not going to be spicy at all. So I want some of that to mix in with jalapenos or to pickle or something um, to eat fresh to grill. A Jvarsky, so this is the um, round, really large size, six to seven inches. And these peppers can be roasted. 
Next I have Pippin's Golden Honey and it looks really pretty and it sounds pretty and it's a sweet pepper and um, it doesn't say how big the peppers are but they look good and they're good munching peppers for the kids or for roasting. Purple Beauty. Here's another one that's purple and it looks smaller than the Black Beauty but that's okay. And these are definitely sweet ones with juicy, crisp, thick walls. Then I have this Violet Sparkle. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. I had to have it. It's a spicy one, I believe. Um, Wedge-shaped, purple-streaked, pale with pale yellow, ripening to red, sweet and crisp. Oh, so it's a sweet one. I gotta sort them out between sweet and 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 hot because when I grow them, I don't want to mix them up and <laughs> give people a uh, heartburn. Sorry, Cero. I don't know. I'm butchering this one. It's a spicy one. Let's see what it's, how to pronounce it. It gives you Chody Sherdo. Totally sweet frying pepper. Love it. And it's sizable. To saute, to fry. Yellow Monster. Wow, these are these look like stuffers all right. Like you can stuff them. And these are sweet peppers. Four inch wide. Impressive. Behemoth. Love those words to describe them. My son loves um, bell peppers stuffed with um, rice and things. Stuffed bell peppers. Um, Corbachi. Look at that. That looks so good. And it is Turkish heirloom. Slender 10 inch fruit or curved and twisted with a Turkish scimitar. Richly flavored frying or pickling type. Yes. So I could stick this in with stuff or I could give it to my mom because she likes to pickle things. Um, so I love that. Mangan Manganji pepper. I think this is the Korean pepper that they that is used in like um, kimchi and other things. Let me see. I could be wrong. Oh, vegetable in Kyoto, Japan, where it is loved and celebrated. Sweet flavor with a bit of heat, soft skin. Okay. Okay, so that's where it's from. Here is the Criolla de Cochina, Italian. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, this is the Nicaraguan type of chili pepper. Intensely flavored, four inch fruit ripens to oxblood red. So yes, I certainly have to sort the spicy ones from the sweet ones because some, some of the package, packages do not say. Here's a habanada, so it's um, it's not going to be spicy, habanada, so love the play on the name. It's a sweet pepper, heard a lot of good things about it. La Silla is supposedly one of the sweetest peppers around, or La Silla. Here's the Murasaki Purple. Looks gorgeous. Love the color. And it is tapered black pods that deceive. They look hot, but they're not. Love it. And then I have this lipstick pepper. Look at how bright red the color is. And it is thick red flesh, four inch long tapered pim pimiento type fruit. Super sweet. Love it. And Cubanelle. It is from Cuba, Puerto Rico, and Dominican cuisine. Um, six to eight inch peppers. Prize for sweet and mild flesh. Rich flavor. So, if you order a certain number of seeds, 
then Baker Creek will give you um, some free seeds. So I have Hedu Tiny free, free seeds. They're little baby bok choys. So cute. Gonna have my kids grow that and enjoy eating it. Day till peppers. I heard these are quite hot. In my last seed order, I got this. So, yes, it says vicious heat. Heat, heat, heat. Vicious heat. <laughs> Sorry about the corniness. <laughs> and here is the coral carrot. And it looks nice and chubby. Really cute. Eight to nine inches long and free of splitting. Grown in heavier soils. Great keeper, silky smooth texture. So, sounds wonderful. And this year is the first year I successfully grew some carrots. I had bought some purple, purple. Oh, I'm sorry, not purple. They're purple colored, sort of. They're called black nebula carrots and I successfully grew them so right now I'm just watering them kind of rather frequently so that they can get larger it'll loosen the soil so it can not split and I'm going to try to harvest some soon um, let's see on average about 75 days okay um, for like some carrots some averages so um I'm so happy. Now that I know some of the tricks to growing carrots, I'm going to grow a bunch of them. And that's all folks, that's all I've got for this seed haul. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Share with me what you are growing and what successes and what failures, what tips you may have. I, I would love to hear it and a lot of people can learn from it too.